way that Diana was treated and also Sarah Ferguson and they've been very protective of her. She has like a, a body of people around her who support her and, and train her and help her with, with dealing with everyday life in the spotlight. I don't think she finds it easy to constantly be watched in everything she's doing but that said she does seem quite natural with it and when the press oversteps its bounds the palace pounces in september 2012 william and kate went to provence on a holiday a private holiday kate was outside and she sunbathed topless which is very normal in europe and a photographer from half a mile away took some pictures. They were published by a French magazine, and the palace were very keen to take action because they never want this happening again. The French have very strict privacy laws. They're there to protect celebrities in the royal family, and so because of that, two people were charged, the photographer and the magazine, for invasion of privacy. The case is still pending. <laughs> But perhaps the most unrelenting rumor was whether Kate was pregnant. There have been rumors of pregnancy from the day the ring went on the finger. There's this notion that if you're a royal bride, you have to get pregnant within the first few months of the honeymoon. Otherwise, you know, you don't count. Rumors went into overdrive when the couple quietly shelved a planned trip to South Africa. But it was false speculation. Every time that she's photographed with a hand on her stomach, you know, she's pregnant. Every time she may have gained five pounds or looks like she's wearing a billowing top, she's pregnant. On December 3rd, 2012, Buckingham Palace ended speculation by confirming that Kate was expecting in July. The royal family was said to be delighted. William and Kate's baby has kind of been like the second coming in pop culture like it's kind of been a rebirth for the monarchy suddenly like we have this gorgeous couple and their gorgeous baby that we can obsess about this child actually has a huge role to play in the future of like history because this child will one day be king or queen will one day be on the throne of the united kingdom and the commonwealth Fortunately for the royal couple, there is a way to escape all the scrutiny. When they're staying at Kensington Palace and doing public events, they can kind of have their, their public life then. But William and Kate actually spend most of their time in Anglesey, and they're very, very private. They go to the local supermarket, they occasionally go to the local cinema, they watch films, they make dinners, they have their friends over. And the press, when they're up there, don't follow them as much because they really want to respect their privacy and allow the royal couple to have some time alone.